r slash ask reddit created by routine reddit have you ever successfully stopped a repeat marketing or scam phone call how did you do it hello we'd like to offer you a free trip to las vegas sir are you aware that you just called the emergency line of a department of energy research facility um ah i we need to keep this line clear you will add us to your do no call list if I receive another call from your company I will report this upstairs. Click. It helps that I'm not lying. Edit. This gained some traction. I do work at a doll lab and part of my job is to answer the site's emergency line, not 911, and erect slash dispatch emergency units when emergencies do happen, and they do. We have had telemarketers call that line. I have used this technique. And if I absolutely needed to I could kick this up to my boss, and it would wind up on a desk in Washington. Well I will be using that at some point, and will be lying. Soon, every number will be the emergency line of a department. I'll be using Department of Spontaneous Insect Combustion Research. I'm thinking nitroglycerine lace blood will pop mosquitoes. Do you think nitroglycerine lace blood will pop telemarketers? Bloodsucker is a bloodsucker. For legit marketing spam. Not scam. Calls. The threat of calling someone on the do not call list is actually pretty big. I'm not proud of it, but I worked in a call center back in college and the fine for calling someone on the do not call registry was like $40,000. Getting someone who said their number was on the do not call list was like a panic button scenario where they'd hold all of our lists to make sure it wasn't outdated and then check to make sure that number really is on the registry to see if we are in for a fine if they report it. Doesn't stop the true scam calls that'll never be tracked down anyway. But those like legit companies, that are just really annoying, are very afraid of the do not call list. Question on the follow up for this, let's say you did get spammed, and were on said the do not call list. What would the process be like of making the caller receive, that 40k dollar sign fine? Which agency would handle that, and what data would you need to get from the spammer? The registry is managed by the FTC. You fill out a form on their site, after you've registered and waited the required grace period. It asks for as much info as possible, the phone number that called you, what it was about, when, who they said they were, etc. Not sure what the minimum amount of information is needed to proceed with a complaint, but I'd imagine not much. They went panic on us, even if we didn't give out a ton of info. There's no real follow up either, on whether or not they find them, based on your complaint. It's also for actual spam calls. Things like political polls, or surveys or debt collectors don't count. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for daily reddit videos. I got a call from one of those you've been selected for a free trip to the Bahamas scammers. I told her, that I couldn't do that right now. Oh no sir, you don't understand it's free you just need to. No no, I understand that ma'am it's just, I'm currently under federal investigation and cannot leave the country. I'm terribly sorry sir I'll remove your number from my list. Have a wonderful day. Click I'm ringing about your recent accident. Oh, you mean when I ran over all those children? Er I'm sorry. I know, I shouldn't have gone flat out in a school zone. Okay I just... Did they figure out which heads went with which bodies? Asterisk C-L-I-C-K asterisk. A workmate always answers, which accident, I've had 29. The reply, well, your last one sir. Mate, well the last one killed me. Well, how have you managed answered your phone? Lol. That last accident killed me. Everyone. I got better. My go to. My accident? Yes, I had one last month. I was driving along a country lane. It was a nice day, no wind or cloud. And another vehicle pulled out from a side road without looking. Hit the front of my car. Yes, a total write off. I went to hospital, I broke my nose and my arm, the other driver apologized, said it was their fault. The other vehicle, very big, very green, yes, it was a steamroller. I try and string it out for, as long as possible, before getting to the big reveal. Schold made it a little girl on a tricycle. Got a call, that there was a virus on my computer, told them that was impossible as I throw my computer into the river, so the cops couldn't get any evidence on me. Haven't heard from them since. My wife got a call from Microsoft. I acted confused, like if they are from help desk, or what because it's a work laptop. After a bit told them I work for, 
bid tech company, and if my laptop is having problems it should be ours calling me. They panicked and hung up, pretty sure she hasn't gotten another one since. Didn't help that she didn't own a laptop, she only had her company one, and that mine was a Mac, so we literally didn't own a Windows box at the time. My mom has ruined one of these calls unintentionally. I run Ubuntu on her laptop that she only uses for mail and online banking, and I'm the one who maintains it. She got one of those calls and actually talked to them for a good 10 minutes. She really tried to follow the instructions and all. Finally the caller asked her which version of Windows she was running. Ubuntu. Ubuntu? And they hang up and never tried again. Holy crap your mother is lucky. How does she like it? My mom is always having issues with Windows, and I was thinking about installing Ubuntu for her. Just a little worried that, if she ever has to compile something, her head will explode. She literally knows how to use Firefox and Skype, and knows how to open TeamViewer for when stuff hits the fan. So it works pretty well, lol. And for the three times she had to use LibreOffice to type something up, that worked fine too. For very basic use, it's more user friendly mo. My mom called me up last week and wanted me to use TeamViewer to fix her computer that was having problems connecting to the internet. Bless her heart, that is hilarious. My grandmother did something similar with a Microsoft scammer. He said one of her PCs was infected with a virus, she decided to have some fun. She expressed extreme concern and alarm, kept them going almost 45 minutes before telling them she didn't own any computers. The caller used some very creative expletives to express his anger, still have a good laugh about this every Christmas lol. My dad did something like this. We were on a road trip with his phone connected via Bluetooth. He gets a call about this guy wanting to give my dad a credit card with some high credit for just a dollar. My dad knew this was a ploy to get his credit card details. He led him on for at least an hour until my dad just goes now nah, I don't have a dollar to spare, that's too much for my poor self the scammer was so mad he was yelling, but sir it's only one dollar. My dad just laughed and hung up. Good times we laugh about it still. <laughs> Would receive a specific one 9 times out of 10, your car warranty is about to expire, press 1 if you'd like to be connected to a representative. So I would oblige, wait for someone to come on the line and say make, model and year of your vehicle, which I usually followed up with 2013 Hasbro ATV or 2017 Little Tykes Tricycle or something of that nature. I must have become a famous caller, because they only called maybe 6 times, after I started doing that, and they always started with oh look who it is. Eventually, it just stopped. I assume it's because they were tired of wasting their time on someone who was wasting their time. I usually reply with what car are you calling about and they'll say can you confirm the year, make and model and I just keep asking what car are you calling about. They hang up every time. Sometimes I get snippy slash petty and say well you're calling me about my car's extended warranty which means you back quote clearly know what car I own. So you tell me. They hang up of course. I've done that with a credit card once. Will this be for the Visa or Mastercard? You called me, and you don't know what the card is. Will this be for the Visa or Mastercard? Yes. Oh, I've had them tell me the make model and year of a car that was in my mom's name until I totaled it almost 10 years ago. One time they called me on my work number, asked for the person who had the number before me, who retired before I joined, and said that his car was expired, giving what was as far as I know the correct make and model. When I informed them that said co-worker had retired and could no longer be reached at this number, so they should stop calling, they informed me that my vehicle's warranty was about to expire as well, even though they had no idea who I was. I hung up on them at that point. I used to get that a lot with the student loans ones. I'd ask how much I owe, because I've never taken out student loans, and they'd just hang up. This is what's happening to me. They hang up but then they keep calling. My husband's boss was getting these like crazy. So he said he had 2019 Rolls Royce Wraith. They didn't call again. Lol. I tell them 1984 Camaro, which is true, and they hang up. Yep 77 Chevy pickup. Needs exhaust and transmission work. How do I sign up for that warranty again? Click. I get a call from a random pharmaceutical company saying that my supply, if Viagra is ready for pickup. I told him that I had a complaint regarding the Viagra. 
I said that I only took half a pill and now only half of my pages was hard. Now my base is hard, but the tip was soft, and I was pissed. I kept going on this Viagra round for about a minute or so, and then they hang up. Happened twice and my friends are still laughing. Half my pages was hard holy crap that's gold omg. I prefer the idea that instead the tip was hard and the base soft. So it just sort of flopped around like an unchuck. Not me, but my grandma. After grandpa died, she started getting phone calls in the evening from an insurance agent trying to sell her insurance for her husband. She's very polite, but she always says no thank you before she hangs up the phone. This goes on for almost a week. Grandma is really beside herself about these calls, and she tells my mom how upset she is with this man. One evening, I guess the guy was really impatient with her, and before grandma could say no thank you, the agent asked her, but ma'am, you need your husband to be covered. Don't you care if he's covered? To which she promptly replied, he is covered. With 6 feet of dirt. Is that enough coverage for you? The man hung up on her, and didn't call again. Grandma really was a nice lady, and she was embarrassed that she lost her temper with that guy. My sisters and loved that story. My gran would get calls from companies about her dead husband's bills. She would get snarky with them, and give them the number and address of the cemetery where he's buried at. Dang my grandma got scammed by some people in Jamaica from phone calls. Lost a lot of money. It's really sad that they prey on seniors. I remember my mum was around at my grandpa's home one day and a scammer called trying to let her remote control his computer jokes on her because my grandpa didn't have a computer and mum strung her on for half an hour. She had the audacity to yell at my mum once she admitted that it perhaps wasn't working because she was watching TV 